Hello, how are you? I am doing really great. Okay, so you know those purses that I said I was going to do yesterday? Um, or complete? I did not. I did line, I did sew pockets on two linings and sewed up the sides, but I have not finished the whole bag. But um, this morning I did a video for you guys and I tried to upload it and it won't upload. I just, so I mean, like, I don't know what the problem is. But I also, today, um, I went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's because I'm working on some jewelry. So just in case I can never upload the other video, I'm going to show you these earrings. Right quick. That I did. And they're hot. They look really nice. They're lightweight. They're not heavy. And they have a nice little sparkly uh, finish to them. I really like them. So I wanted to show you those. <clears throat> so those are some pieces I'm really proud of. I also want to share with you some glasses. Now you guys have seen these glasses before. I don't know why, but I am just loving these big frame glasses. Okay, so now I got another pair and they're super big. I am going to be sharing some beads and other stuff I bought today, too. So, I don't want you people to run off and go, oh. Anyway, so you like these? How about these? Now, these, like, might be really big, but I like them. Like, I like these. They're so big and cute. I like them. I'm going to leave these on for the rest of the video. Okay. Um, I showed you, um, in the past, some paper, oh god, that I really, really liked. Um, you've seen this before, but I end up cutting it up and not really doing everything I was supposed to do with it, but I'm going to show you. Remember these, guys? I think I showed you these pictures, um, probably about two months ago. And, uh, this one, very nice. I didn't do the artwork on these, but they're nice. But I ended up getting some stuff today, and I thought that this and this would look really, really good together. Just that combination, along with these beads, because these pieces are really well thought out. So, I want you to know that. So, this whole look looks really good together. Um, so, I like that. And I like this. Very nice. So when I start on my next piece, that's what I'm going to be doing. I also want to show you... I got some more of this today. This stuff is kind of expensive, too. But I love the texture on it. And it feels like velvet on top. I don't know how they made that happen but they did mm, look at that I love this color I think it'll look really good on my skin tone I'm gonna turn off this light see if it's just too bright so here's this I'm gonna turn it back on but I'm gonna turn it the other direction a little bit and I also got some more of this green because I can't do without it. And I got these feathers to go with it. This stuff is kind of expensive. Um, I got these feathers. I'm going to open these up really quick. I don't know how I'm going to adhere that to it, but I'm going to try. But I just really want them to look really nice and pretty. I mean, I just love this, and I don't know what I want to do to make this work. I don't yet. But we will soon find out. I also like this. I'm sorry, I put it so close. I don't know what this is. I like, I like that texture. I like the two-toneness of it. Looks really good. 
yeah. I'm just so excited about my pieces. I'm just really, really excited about them. Um, and I have some more feathers. And that, this will go good with those browns also. You can see through the pack. Look really good with it. I think brown and green go really good together. So, that's how I do my matching with colors and stuff like that. And all my beads. Okay. So, we have these. I don't know if these are the same. Go a little different. So those are those. I also bought today. Um, I went to a grocery store too. Also, oh, here I, I here are some beads that I thought would look good. With some of that stuff you just saw was like a combination of fabric and paper. So it was a combination of both. So I thought some of these beads would look good um, when I. Go to do those pieces and it's just like a lot of this this situation so i just kind of kind of got to figure out the details and how i want to make it and what i wanted to make it look like so i'm excited about those um pieces and i got the creams and the orange now today at hobby lobby they had a sale on these and these are they call them magnet lampshade embellishments so you put this on the outside of your lampshade and it has a magnet Hmm. in the back and it oh, it'll stick to your lampshade and there's a magnet back here which I don't know why they got that like that but there's the magnet that's interesting well I'm going to put these on my hats and what's cool about them if you want you can move it around like if you don't like it there on the right you can move it to the left and you have a magnet so I thought that was pretty cool they were um, ooh, $8 but um, I got them for half off. This has a little embellishment in the middle. Oops. Ooh, wow. This other side is sticking to the other side. Ooh, wow. Okay, don't put them together. And I got this pretty, I got two brown ones. And I have this blue. Which is cool, which the magnet moves. So we gotta move it. There's the magnet here. So I guess I would just. I hear it to the hat, and there it is. And it has a little, I'm sorry, there's the magnet, and there's the little embellishment on the inside. So when I do my hats, I will show you those, because I'm doing a lot of Easter hats. So excited about those. Or what we call the church hat. Also, I want to share this cup with you that I got from the thrift store. Isn't it pretty? Look how it has that mustard color right there and then some like light brown creams i love cups you know i collect them so we're about to end this video and i just want to say one more thing i have a pomegranate i've been eating these for the last three days like crazy i ate three yesterday the day before that i had three today i had two but i had to go to the store and buy some more I want another one, so I've had two today. So then I thought, you know, I'm eating these like crazy. How many calories are in one of these? <laughs> Girl, about 234 calories. So I pretty much consumed about 500 calories. And it kind of fill you up, fills you up too. So um, I think I may not eat any more today. Unless I eat half of it and then put the rest of it away. But yeah. I've already ate 500 calories from two of these. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So it'd be like 800 calories for three of these. So just make sure this is all you're going to eat. Because I still have to eat dinner. So I won't be having another one of those right now. This is a cup. I don't know if I ever showed it with showed this one to you. But look at this one. It's a nice cup. I think I got this at a thrift store too. I have coffee in this one, and this is um, cranberry tea. Ladies, just a little word of advice. If you get really bloated around that time of the month, I would recommend some of this cranberry tea. Um, it's really good. It makes you release a lot of that water. 
um, they recommend that you do two or three a day. Is by tradition traditional. I can't say medicinals, whatever. Um, let's do some hot tea. Um, it says herb free, caffeine free, and I mean, I'm telling you, I go urinating to the bathroom a lot, and I gain about five or six pounds water weight. Um, it's a week before my period, so I just start drinking like a couple of these a day. And remember, the PMS tea is really good too. So if you got a lot of water weight, you can use this, or you can just get real cranberry juice. Help you get rid of some of that water retention. So, I am going to go over there on my couch. I'm going to get my iPad out. I'm going to take some notes. I'm going to make me a to-do list. And maybe finish up those purses. Okay? You have a great day.